Do you want to know how to have not one, but two credit profiles that benefit you in this new economy? There are many economic changes on the horizon. Stock markets tanking, the demand for oil and gas is lower than expected in its winter. Bitcoin is taking a bloodbath. Crypto is having issues. We are on the precipice of an economic slowdown. However, those with money, good credit, and the ability to get capital are going to come up like never ever before during this downturn. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can acquire not one, but two credit profiles to help you on your economic journey. What's going on? This is another edition of Every Man is a Millionaire with your hustling godfather, Glendon Cameron. What we do here is we get money through hustling and entrepreneurship. We make money, we stack money, we protect money, we secure money, and we make it grow some more. However, this is none of the stuff you're going to hear on any other channel. This will be stuff that I am actually doing or have done. Do me a solid, go below, get your free hustling books. If you don't have money for my products, not a problem. I have books for you, a free gift from me to you. So with that, let's get into it with this duality of credit profiles. Now, one of the things you have to do is understand how the economy works. And the first thing you have to do, you have to do this, you can't skip over this, is establish your five checking accounts. Then the next thing you have to do is establish a hustle or a side business that makes $1,000 or more per month. Until you do those things, do not go past go. You're gonna need some money to make this thing float and you need to get hustling. So once again, go below, get your free hustle books and start hustling. All right, so we're going to assume that you have your five checking accounts, you have your hustle, you have your job, you have good credit or maybe you have tarnished credit. This is the steps that you're gonna to have to take to create an economic capital bank, become your own bank, if you will. First of all, you need to understand there's personal credit and there's business credit. Now, a long time ago, I wouldn't have given you guys this information because the times, it, it can get you in trouble. Let's just put it this way. If you do not get your five checking accounts, get your hustle, practice sound money management techniques, you're gonna get yourself in trouble. You've been warned. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna clean up your credit or you're gonna make sure your credit is set up straight. And what I mean by that is, uh, like there's some of you who you have a credit card going to one address or maybe you moved and you just hadn't got around to changing your addresses. So you now have credit going here, you got credit going there. All of this is on your report. Now, if you're balling and you have like a million dollar estate and you have an address here, no problem. But if you broke Dick Danny, this will be noted and this will factor into your credit score. And also, the sum you need to know, and no one else is telling you this, banks are not stupid. Banks have automated bots that scrape social media. They do. <laughs> no one's telling you this, but I'm telling you they do. So if your uh, application information says one thing, but your social media says another, they're going to go with the social media. They're gonna go with where you live. They're gonna go with your friends. They're gonna go with who you hang out with. Banks have this stuff at their disposal. They're not talking about it, but they do. All right, so you're gonna clean up your, your credit addresses. You're gonna clean up your profile. And this is where the five checking accounts and this is where the extra money comes in. You're going to pay off all of your debt. You're gonna pay off all of your debt. You're gonna be debt free because trying to pay this game, and I know many people will come in the comments and they'll like fight with me it is very hard for you to escalate, to accelerate when you have a parachute, when you have a financial parachute that's dragging you back, which is debt obligations. It's very hard to play this game when you are leveraged to the hilt. I know people were like, well, I've done this. And I, I have a question to my people who are going to challenge me on this. If leveraging works so well, why do you have to keep doing it? Why don't you have enough capital to 
to do your own thing. You're addicted to it. Yeah, you're addicted to it. Once you do this, you got your credit profile straight, then whatever current credit cards you have, you want to get the highest limits to everything that you have. If your current limits add up to 25,000, you want to get it to 75,000. You want to get it to 100,000. So you're going to scrape the internet, you're going to go to all of these credit forums, you're going to figure out how this bank works, and you're going to double or triple all of your credit limits, every last one of them. You're going to, because typically where most people are, your credit limits are indicative of your income. You can have a great credit score. It does not matter. If your income is insufficient, someone with a lesser score can have more credit than you because they have a higher ability to repay. So what we're dealing with is the ability to repay. This is where the five checking accounts come in. This is where the extra money comes in because now you become that person who can pay your bills. You start using credit the way it was intended as a convenience, not as a lifestyle extension. Now, after you have doubled the triple your credit limits, then, because your credit is good or you're working on this, then you're going to go out and get business credit. You're going to form an LLC. You're going to do it the right way. You're going to form an LLC. You're going to do all of the proper things you need to do for your business credit. You're going to go for American Express Platinum on the personal side and American Express Platinum on the business side. There's a big reason for this, and I'm going to make an offer for those people who really want to know this information, because once again, this ain't it for everybody. All right, so you go, and I was like, why should I have two platinum cards and pay that big fee? You're not understanding, you're not feeling the technique. First of all, you're gonna start a business, you're gonna start making some money. I want you to say this right now. I'm gonna start a business, I'm gonna start making some money, I'm gonna ball out. Tell yourself that, program yourself that way. Now, once you have your business credit and your personal credit, you're only going to barely use your personal credit. That's all you're gonna, you're gonna barely use it. You're gonna use it for maybe a hundred bucks per car, pay it off after the statement cuts. That's what you're gonna do. Now, your debt, you're gonna do this on your business credit side. You're, this is why you need the American Express. This is why you need to Chase Inc. This is why you need the lines of credit because your business credit profile and your personal credit profile, they don't cross. They stay separate over here and over here. So this is why you want to have two distinct credit profiles and they want to be clean. You, you need to have good credit on your, on your personal side. Uh, many people have used business credit as a bridge because their personal credit was jacked up. But if your personal credit is jacked up and that's based upon behaviors, you're going to get into a trouble. So make sure that you develop sound business money management practices for your personal side and they will matriculate into your business side. Now, this is where you can get killer limits. Now remember, first on the personal side, you want to double and triple your limits because once you start a business, typically back in the day, uh, most business credit cards started at a 10 K limit. Typically, they will offer you two to three times what your personal credit limits are because they're going to look at your credit report because you start your LLC. You really don't have a business going. So you're going to go off of your job income, your hustle income to get the limits for these business credits. Essentially, if you listen to me and you do this stuff and it's probably going to take you, depending on where you are, six months to two years. I don't know you. I don't know your financial situation now. So let's say on the personal side, you have 100K worth of credit lines. Then here on your business side, you have 300K worth of credit lines. You see where I'm going? Now, business credit works very similar to personal credit and you cannot go out and use your credit card to the limit. American Express and other people will cut you off. But now that you have 300K on the business side, you can use up to 100K and pretty much stay in good stead because you have your five checking accounts, because you have your hustle, you have the money to service that debt. And then you now have more money to grow your business by having two credit profiles. Now this is for anybody who has a little money and starting a business, but you, you're kind of like, I need to get this while I can, because once again, we're in the midst of an economic slowdown. 
And what's gonna happen, and one of the reasons that you want to triple your credit limits is in case they get crammed down, they'll still be higher than what you had before. Same thing on the business side. If they cram them down, let's say you had 300, they cram you down to 200K. You still got money. So this is one of the reasons you wanna go for the highest limits possible. I don't wanna hear that stuff. That's just gonna get you in trouble. If you cannot responsibly handle your credit cards, that's you, player. That's not everybody else. Chase American Express, I just got a platinum because I'm doing this too. And I'm gonna get a platinum on the personal side and I'm gonna get a platinum on the business side. Because once again, personal is just, a, let's just say, you know how they stage a house? You're going to stage your personal to ball out on your business credit. And this is for anyone with a 720, you can do this right now. But the whole steps of setting up your LLC and setting up all this other stuff, that's going to be a little tricky because you got to do it a certain way. And I, I'll walk you through those steps in the offer I'm going to make. Now, what should you invest this new money in? This is a very, very serious question. You should not go out and buy something that you don't know if it's going to make money. You need to sit on that credit. You need to sit on those funds until you get what I called an almost sure thing. Now, what is an almost sure thing? I used to buy certain office furniture on the storage auction trail. And there's this thing called Ethospace. I came across several units that had Ethospace because no one knew what it was because it was unassembled. And I got these for next to nothing. I could make a deal where I can call someone and say, hey, Richard, come get this. And Richard gives me 5, 10K. Now the stuff is worth 40, 50, but I didn't have to touch it. I didn't have to do anything. So it was almost a sure thing. You know, if Richard had died or something, then I would have been stuck. But you want those kind of deals and you need to be looking for those kind of deals every day. And I want everyone to say, I am going to find an almost sure feel, almost a sure thing type of deal every month because it's going to take you a lot of looking, a lot of poking around to get those deals and only use that money for those kind of deals. Don't use that money to get a car. Don't use that money to get in real estate unless you know exactly what you're doing. If you just got good credit in a job and you've never done a real estate deal, do not use this money for real estate deals. Do not use this money for Bitcoin. Don't use it for the stock market. Do not do that because once you get this credit, you can expand it if you keep it straight in five seven years you can have a million dollars worth of credit lines if you do the right thing and then your personal is good because you really use it and we'll, we'll talk about some other stuff all right so here's the offer you know we're um thanksgiving black friday i'm going to put this information in the art of holding and I'm going to have a special offer for the Art of Holding because the Art of Holding gives you all of the how to set up the LLC, how to set up the credit, how to clean up your credit and all the stuff. All that will be in the Art of Holding. And that link and other links to the Black Friday specials will be below. I'm going to give you until Friday night, 11.59 p.m. Pacific time because I got love for my Cali dudes. All right. Hopefully you like this presentation. Hopefully you're excited. Hopefully you're ready to take action. Let me know how you feel in the comments. Once again, go below, get your free hustle books, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Because there will be another video.